Season 8 of 90 Day Fiancé consisted of 11 drama-packed episodes, many of which fans have still not forgotten. Couples like Jovi and Yara, and Brandon and Julia, who were introduced in this season, have gone on to become 90 Day Mainstays, now featured on some of the network's most popular spin-off shows. Other couples, like Ryan and Stephanie, went down in 90 Day Infamy, leaving fans wondering if there was any possibility of the couple making a comeback. Since season 8's premiere two years ago, a lot has happened off-screen for the couples. Some have felt the negative effects of starring in a reality television show while others have embraced the spotlight. Between seasons, fans are left wondering what has become of the couples they were invested in and if they'll ever see them return to the screen again. Makeups, breakups, babies, and more have been the experience of these 90 Day Fiancé alumni since their time on Season 8. Jovi Dufresne Yara Zaya, still together viewers watched along through the highs and lows of Jovi and Yara's relationship in Season 8, which ended in their Vegas wedding, officiated by an Elvis Presley impersonator. They welcomed their baby girl Myla in 2020 and have been going strong since, still together now in 2022. Jovi and Yara regularly update their Instagram accounts, showcasing their busy, upscale lives to fans. Since season 8 ended, Yara has launched her makeup and clothing brands, which have seen mixed reception over the quality of the products. Despite the many struggles this couple has overcome, they are still together and will soon be returning to the spotlight in the newest season of 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after on August 28, 2022. Andrew Kent and Amira Lalisa, broken up Andrew and Amira's relationship in season 8 was highly troubling to fans who were quick to criticize Andrew's unkind treatment of his fiancé. After Amira went through a difficult journey to Mexico where they planned to meet, she was detained and then berated by Andrew, ultimately deciding to return to France, a decision that officially ended the couple's engagement. Fans were glad to see this couple part ways before their story could evolve any further. During the season 8 tell-all, Amira refused to even speak to Andrew, going to show how much their relationship had deteriorated. For the best, this couple is no longer together, and so is one of Amira's most iconic quote states, she will not be letting Andrew control her, ever again. Brandon gives Julia Trubkina, still together one of the most dramatic storylines of season 8 pertain to the couple Brandon and Julia who experienced the growing pains associated with living with family and transitioning into life as newlyweds. Brandon's parents Ron and Betty infuriated the couple and fans as they struggled to maintain control of their son. Despite their struggles, Brandon and Julia tied the knot at the end of season 8 and remain happily married, having expanded their family with two fur babies, German shepherds Simba and Nala. The couple stars on multiple 90-day spin-offs, the most recent being 90-Day Diaries where they revealed their recent plans of moving to Florida. The couple is very active on Instagram, sharing comedy skits and their latest pursuits, such as their availability as two of the most expensive 90 Day Fiancé stars on Cameo. Rebecca Parrot Zed Hakimi, still together Rebecca and Zed are a couple that has beaten the odds. While most fans figured the couple was done for after their many conflicts surrounding their marriage, such as Zed's reluctance to get married before Ramadan, the two did tie the knot at the end of season 8 and remain together. Rebecca and Zed have big news as of 2022 they are moving to Tunisia.
Despite Rebecca's difficult journey to secure Zed's K-9 visa, the two have decided on a new life in his home country of Tunisia. Fans cannot wait to see the moving process on 90 Day Diaries, the spin-off the couple now stars on. Zed struggled to acclimate to life in America throughout season 8, and fans are curious to see how Rebecca will handle the transition to life in North Africa. Mike Youngquist Natalie Mordetseva, broken up Mike and Natalie's story began with plans of pregnancy but quickly devolved into conflict and strife. Though the two attempted to reconcile multiple times throughout the season, on their wedding day, Mike got cold feet and called off the ceremony, though the two did eventually tie the knot. Unsurprisingly, the couple's wedded bliss was short-lived, and though the two are still legally married according to records obtained by In Touch, Natalie has been starring on 90 Day Fiancé, the single life where she has continued to fail in her pursuit of love. To many fans surprised, the recent trailer for the Single Life Season 3 teases a clip of the couple hugging outside Mike's home in Squim, Washington, leaving fans anticipating how their marriage will unfold. The new season will hopefully reveal more to know about Natalie and the future of her relationship with Mike. Stephanie Davison Ryan Carr, broken up Stephanie's trip to Columbia to pursue her love interest Ryan resulted in one of the most disastrous storylines in the history of 90 Day Fiancé. Shortly after Stephanie's arrival, she discovered Ryan had been speaking to many women online and the meltdowns began, but not before she awkwardly showered Ryan with expensive gifts and spent a romantic evening with him, which also ended in disaster. After allegations of stealthing on Ryan's part and painfully obvious incompatibility, Ryan and Stephanie's love story ended rather quickly, and thankfully, the two never reconnected. Her interest in Ryan's cousin Harris was also short-lived, leaving Stephanie single once again. For fans, it's difficult to decide whether it was Stephanie, Ryan, or Harris who was 90 Day Fiancé's worst partner of all time, though they'll just be glad to know neither of the couples are still together. Tariq Myers Hazel Kagaliton, still together Tariq and Hazel have been through a lot together and fans have eagerly watched along since their introduction in season 2. The two got married in 2020 but faced many conflicts since they said, I do, which resulted in their separation just a year later. Thankfully, there is recent good news about the couple. Despite the two living separately for a period, Tariq and Hazel are happily back together as of 2022. After working on their problems, the two are now reunited and are working to bring Hazel's son to the States to complete their happy family. The couple is starring on 90 Day Diaries, where fans can continue following their story.